I'm going to take a look at how to speed up your iPhone or iPad. Now, I find that after probably about a year's use, all my iPhones start to slow down and I like to reset them and that's got a lot easier recently. So I'm going to just show quickly how you can uh, back up your, your iPhone to the cloud and then uh, do a complete wipe and then restore it back to its former glory um, in a couple of hours. It's a straightforward process, so uh, let's take a look at how it's done. So first of all, we need to make sure that all our photos are, are backed up. Uh, I use Carousel, which is part of Dropbox, to back up all my photos. You could also use a lightning cable and just connect it into your PC and use the standard camera import of Windows or Mac to pull all your photos off the device. It's important we do this because typically, unless you're paying for iCloud storage, you only get five gigabytes and that won't hold all your photos and videos. So uh, once you've done that, we need to go into Manage Storage and turn off Photo Library Backup. I've just done this reset so you can see my photo library is quite small, but typically that could be tens of gigabytes. And then we need to go into settings iCloud and we need to go to the backup option. And if it's not turned on, you need to turn on iCloud backup. So if we tap on backup now, it'll then complete a full backup to the cloud. How long this takes depends on your broadband upload speed. So on my fiber connection with about three gigabytes to back up, so that's without my photos and videos, it took about 30 minutes. Once it's uh, backed up, you can then completely erase the iPhone. So you go into settings, general, scroll all the way down to the bottom to reset and then choose erase all contents and settings. And you'll be prompted to enter your passcode and lots of other prompts uh, say yes to everything and your iPhone will be completely wiped. You'll then be greeted with a welcome screen. Um, enter your Wi-Fi password and then choose to restore from iCloud backup and choose the most recent backup. This can take a while, especially as it has to download all your apps again, um, but you can safely leave this overnight. And when you come back to it, your phone will be completely restored and should be running a lot quicker. The only things you might need to do are set up your Apple Pay cards again and set up your Touch ID, but otherwise everything should be as it was and a lot quicker. All your Wi-Fi passwords are remembered, uh, your Bluetooth pairings, all your app specific settings are restored. Please take a look at the details in the article below. Okay, so that's it. It's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, it probably takes a few hours and most of it you can leave to do on its own. Uh, please let me know in the comments how you get on.